Merry Christmas, folks. It's Don from Detecting Doodads. It's about 1 a.m. Christmas morning. Still up. I've been working on orders, um, camera mounts, relic rack tracks, um, just a bunch of stuff going on. But in between prints, I was playing with uh, mini ball displays. I um, have a bunch of shelves, not this, this is just my workbench, but I have a display with a bunch of shelving uh, edges, and I was thinking of a way to hang mini balls off the end, <clears throat> and I had modeled up some mini balls playing around with the specific gravity, moment of inertia, um, and they're quite peculiar most of the, the weight is in the nose of the thing because of the hollow base um, so to get to the perfect center of gravity you know you have to analyze the, the mass and weight distribution of the bullet to figure out how it could be perfectly balanced and not fall off of that thing. <clears throat> it's pretty neat. Um, still working on it, but it's it's very it's very kinetic. It's a kinetic way of displaying. If you got it near a fan, it it'll just sit there and blow and wiggle around. Um, so basically. Modeled up uh, this 58 caliber here. It's <clears throat> sitting in a cradle. Okay. So the center of gravity is actually right here. The pivot points up in here. Okay. The cradle supports the overhung weight. So the cradle, if I can rotate it here and you can see it, uh, I'll tell you what, and you can see it here, um, it fits the contour because the nose goes up on there. So that bullet sits in there correctly, um, I had to contour that cradle. And contouring that cradle does two things. It gives you that support in the back, that overhung weight, and it gives you that contour so it, it, it can't um, scoot out the front. And then if you look at the center line this way, of course the mass center line, moment of inertia is in the center of the bullet, but the pivot point I offset here and what that does if you support that there the weight of the bullet will rotate the reason I do that is to make the cradle almost disappear to, to your eye so see as you're viewing it you, you, you don't see the cradle because that it has rotated under whereas if it if the pivot point was in line with the axis of the bullet you would see the cradle so it it, it falls up under there but anyway this is the kind of stuff I do at uh, 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning I just start thinking of these crazy things and pondering how these relics and modern technology can come up with different and unique ways of working together. Okay, everyone, it's uh, Christmas evening, about 7.30. Um, so I've been printing and modifying on these kinetic bullet stands. Um, I think I've got them down pretty good. 
I got 54 cal, I got 58 cal, 60 cal's printing now. Uh, but this is a display rack I was telling you about. It's kind of neat. It's just an open frame um, sitting on the wall. And I had all these, you know, these flat shelves here. Um, and I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to hang bullets. Here's my original bullet stand. You know, it sits there. It's nice. You can rotate it. Um, they're, they're cool. But, uh, and then I had uh, the relic rack that I'm developing. There's some fake plates. Some authentic cuff buttons. And uh, there's a Williams cleaner sitting in there. So, that's cool. I'll be coming out. I'm working on it. Still working out some details in it. Uh, and then coin stands that can be used for different things. Here I found a... Uh, this is a fencing metal. So, you know, it's a coin stand that just scaled up. <laughs> so, I can scale those up for you if you have it. Or down. You know, you have a little fine, so that one's just a giant one to hold this fencing metal. So this guy here on this fencing guy, he got second place. I don't think second place in a knife fight's a, a good deal. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, these things are different. Here's one's uh, printed printed up and transparent I was just playing around you know they're they're in there the bullets just sitting on there you want that to roll under it's calculating the center of gravity you want it to float and give you a good spring action um, so that works pretty cool a little wind to blow them and they'll flick around for quite a while that one's still going Thanks for watching.